Ah, it's so dark. Like, you look fine. I always look like midnight. Now how do you look? Even darker. Uh, so I had an interesting day. I feel like I've been kind of like bipolar today. Um, I had a really, really weird thing happen earlier. Um, I don't really want to go into too many details. Let's just call it a really bad dream. And um, for the first time that I can recall, I could be wrong, but just to me, from my knowledge, the first time ever, I woke up crying from a bad dream. Um, and my honey, of course, was there to comfort me, which was good. And um, after that, we kind of hung out for a little bit before he went to work. Um, and after he went to work, I um, cleaned the house, did some chores, and I was still really tired and drowsy, but I was a little bit scared to go back to sleep. Um, but I, I ended up taking a nap and um, it was a good nap, like nothing bad happened. I did have some odd dreams, but it was nothing like, I can't really call it a nightmare. So I got up and I, I want to say I got up pretty late in the day from my nap, but at the same time, I had already cleaned the house and everything, so I didn't feel bad about taking a long nap. Um, I got up, I called my honey, um, found out that he got his paperwork for um, his promotion and everything, which is really cool. He'll get more details about that tomorrow. And um, I talked to him on the phone for a couple of hours while I... Uh, did prep for dinner and um, I did an oil treatment on my hair and I worked out, took a shower, um, put dinner on and daddy came home and we, that's him. <laughs> and we ate dinner, we watched Flash and then we came to the room to watch something that was recommended to us called, is it called the 13 or the 13 mm -hmm. or something like that? It's basically like, um, I'm calling it like a Black Lives Matter uh, documentary thing. And it basically went from like slavery days all the way until now and how things haven't changed and, you know, uh, the, the number of young black men in prison and this and that. And honestly, I kind of feel bad because I took a complete shit on it. Like, I really went into it with an open mind. Um, anyone who really knows me knows that I'm not down for the Black Lives Matter movement or anything like that. Um, do I think that... Um, someone being killed, that, um, you know, like police brutality, do I believe those things are bad? Absolutely. But not because it happened to a black person, just because it happened. Um, in that case, I, I just, I can't get behind Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter movement um, at all. It's, if there are problems, um, things that we need to change, then I'm for that, but not for a specific group of people or race, you know, I, I could care less about your skin color. Um, so it was a little hard watching because I feel like on paper, you know, anyone who sits down to watch it would be like, wow, that makes a lot of sense how, you know, we're still like slaves of today and this and that. And your typical person would look at that as, you know, like everything, the way they spell it out, the way they, they talk and make comparisons. Your typical person would take that and say, wow, I never looked at it that way, but I just can't see it that way. Like, you know, you've got these, you know, professional people on here, these, you know, 
um, these people from these big organizations and professors and, and attorneys and, you know, these, these different important people talking about these things and it makes it seem like it makes sense. But while some of the things were, in, excuse me, interesting, um, and some of it made sense, I couldn't get behind the overall message of we're still slaves today. And basically because once upon a time, black people were slaves, it justifies how we act now or how, you know, most black people act now. It's just, it's rubbish. I'm sorry. It just is. Um, but I can also see why most people would look at this as well. This is a very informative, you know, docu documentary about, you know, the things that go on in society and why we're the way we are, this and that. I just can't get behind it. But again, I, <laughs> I'm not like most people, neither is my husband. It was entertaining watching so that we can pick it apart, but we didn't learn anything from it. I mean, other than a few facts here and there, we didn't learn, we didn't, take on the overall um, message of, you know, yeah, Black Lives Matter. Woohoo. Yeah. No, it didn't work that way. So anyway, that was entertaining, but also disappointing. It wasn't what it, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. And it wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, it was basically, hey, if you believe in Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter movement, then you'll enjoy this documentary. So that's what it felt like. So um, anyway, I took a couple of sleeping pills. I, I found that I need to take sleeping pills at night now again to fall asleep. Um, but I do find that I have an easier fall time falling asleep once I take them and I just kind of lay on my honey's chest and I just fall asleep. Um but I really want to go back to the NyQuil because I don't like, I'm already taking a lot of vitamins and stuff. I don't like the idea of taking a bunch of like, well, it's, it's like Tylenol PM, but if I don't have to take more pills, I don't want to. Um, but we tend to go through NyQuil very quickly. Um, it lasts us maybe two or three nights and then that's it. So, and then he doesn't like to use the measuring cup. He just drinks it straight out the bottle which I don't like because, you know, he could take like more than he's supposed to, but I can't tell him what to do because he does what he wants to do. So anyway, um, he's sleeping. So I'm going to go to bed now. Um,